Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we've got an issue with water on our passenger side floorboard. We appreciate all you homesteaders being here and everybody else. Today, we're gonna show you how to fix that. So stay with us. So you're driving along and you put something on your passenger side floorboard. You get home, you pick it up, and it's soaking wet. What the heck happened? Well, it could be several different things. So first thing you want to do is smell it. If it smells like Coca-Cola, then your kids have been in your car and they spilled something on your floorboards. Two, if it smells like antifreeze, then you've got a heater core problem and you may need to see a mechanic or you need to take care of that yourself. Three, it could be a plugged AC drain tube. Now we're going to check that. It also could be some plugged vents up top where the inlets for the uh, air conditioning are but we're going to check all of those and let you know what it is so this is all wet smell it no coca-cola no dr pepper no antifreeze it's just water so that means our drain tube or our inlet vents are clogged let's go check out those two if you have to jack up your vehicle to get to that drain plug then of course use all the safety precautions necessary, including jack stands. All right, let's have a look up here and you can see I've got a lot of debris. I've got a lot of leaves up here and we wanna clean that out as best that we can. Get all this garbage out of here so that the vehicle can breathe. That's number one. Number two, I'll take you down below and I'll show you where that drain pipe is or that drain tube for the air conditioning. What we're gonna do is just take a little bit of air from an air compressor and blow it up in there. Let's go take a look. All right, everyone, this is extremely difficult to see from above or below. So I'm in the engine bay right now and you can see it's right there. If I shine my light right on it, where my, where my pinky finger is. It's right in the firewall and it is directly below as i pan up here directly below your transmission fluid dipstick which is right here this is on the passenger side of the vehicle so what we're going to do is we're just going to take some gentle air and blow it in there you don't want to blow too hard because you don't want to uh, force anything back up into the air conditioning but you do need to get whatever debris that is in there loose and flowing properly so the water is coming out. Now we have a little bit of water coming out, but not enough because it is coming back into that engine compartment. So on the RAM here, it is easier to get to that uh, drain tube from inside and above on the engine bay than it is from below. It's just too far to reach your hand really up in there and there's a lot in the way. So best way to do it is the way we showed you is down through, it's on the firewall just below that transmission dipstick. We really hope this video was helpful in showing you a simple fix for a common problem. Now this applies to pretty much every vehicle you're gonna have a tube that comes through your firewall on your passenger side. Some may vary, but this is pretty straightforward. So just blow a little air in there and you'll be all set. Thanks everyone, and hey, if you're interested, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and stay with us here on a permanent basis. Thanks, share this video with others, give it the thumbs up, and we will see you on the next video. Have a good one.